can just like hug me whenever. Like you don't have to like be like, hey book Sam, book in a time to do a melted hug. Like you can just hug me. <laughs> You're cute. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Welcome back to the continuation of Married at First Sight Intimacy Week. Cody has been acting decently to Selena for her birthday. Cody makes Selena feel very special on her 33rd birthday with freshly cooked meals, a birthday cake, sweets and flowers. Really cute and made me like breakfast. How cute. And then we had a delivery of like massive flowers that he had sent. After a heated clash, Tamara and Brent haven't spoken since he implied she had daddy issues. You want to look after someone and because I don't need to be looked after, I don't want to look off. after you. I don't need to baby anyone. What do I look like? Some sort of father figure? No, you don't. Get over yourself. You're, you're upset because you, got, you look a certain way and you can't stand it. That's your problem, not mine. Your skin is ice cold. And they're living in separate apartments. Brent goes over to Tamara's apartment and they discuss their very clear differences and move on. Holly and Andrew take on the first task where they stare into each other's eyes for three minutes. Andrew is into it, but Holly does not enjoy it. Jack has revealed to Dominica that he slept with his ex-girlfriend of four years after they broke up. Dominica finds this weird. Not the face mask or the period sex. Got you. I, I personally can't get over that mask. He, like, curious. Like, why does she need to be your friend? Well, there's no answer though. Why does anyone need to be your friend? Cody and Selena have been asked to have a five minute makeout sesh, but Selena is nervous. After a bit of adjusting, they find a good rhythm. Mitch has a tantrum over the five minute makeout session and he's adamant about not kissing Ella for five minutes because he likes to reserve that for the bedroom and not in front of the cameras. Um, excuse me, what? I don't know about doing it with everyone around. I made up my mind. Celine and Anthony are still living apart despite John's request to move back together and on a brighter side of things, they have agreed to do the intimacy week task and up first is a staring contest aka 3 minutes staring task. Since they are successful, they move on to the melting hug. Sure, that makes sense. They embrace for the entire 3 minutes and once again, it was successful. Minutes. They fist bump to celebrate. Over at Cody and Celine's apartment, Cody is now sharing a personal story with Celine because intimacy also involves speaking. Cody opens up to Selena about how he grew up surrounded by death. Cody shares his grieving journey after his father died when Cody was 15, saying that he lost his uncle, two grandfathers and a dog in the five years that followed. Now that's rapid compounding grief and Selena really feels for him. Now it makes sense. It's like he's gone through a lot in his life, lost a lot, gone through trauma, but he's never actually dealt with it. And that is challenging. Thank you for sharing. I really do appreciate you like sharing those things because that was that's a lot. Ella and Mitch hit another roadblock when a second task asks them to reveal the three things they want in the bedroom. While Ella wants more kissing, Mitch interrupts and says he Mine would be confidence, noise and four. Adding, we need to work on that. Um what? <gasps> he then tells Al that other girls he's been with have initiated things and Ella is worried. But I'm just bad at like initiating the whole sensual thing. <laughs> and then there is this scene where Selena reminds me of Belle shaving Anthony's butt on Love Island. Hair's growing up, so you need to it down. As Selena is removing hair from Cody's butt crack. Like just all over the hair on my bum crack. Oh my god! I'm so confused. Where does this stop? Where does it end? <laughs> 
probably the most confronting thing I've ever had to do. <laughs> we'll sleep. Tamara and Brent have to do the hug melt task and she literally pushes him away once the buzzer goes off and proceeds to tell him to shut up. Shut Back up. to being unhealthy. Speaking of unhealthy, Celine has slid into Anthony's DMs and is ready for him to move back in. And move in together and very happy. Celine then puts into motion an idea of her own by giving Anthony a spray tan. Okay, back to the healthier side. Maybe this is what our relationship will be built on. Maybe it could go darker. Olivia and Jackson open up their box of sexual goodies and Olivia is hunting for something she can spank Jackson with. Dominica and Jack have been given a special task just for them. It is pole dancing. Dominica pops on her gold heels and swings around the pole in a movement that Jack describes as goddamn hot. Alessandra task Holly and Andrew with a three minute hug and once again Andrew is into it but Holly reveals to Andrew she isn't. Andrew claims Holly is a narcissist because she is trying to make him out to be somebody he's not. Um, You're the douche dude. You're the douche. And that's all folks. And kiss like that. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.